Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have this uh, beautiful exponential equation involving radicals. Root 2 to the power of root n minus root 2 to the power of root n n equal to 16,384. So how do we obtain m and n? So that is actually what we are here for. Let's go ahead and see how this is done. I have my solution, then I bring down the equation root 2 to the power of root m minus root 2 to the power of root n equal to 16,384. Right. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is to rewrite the, the root 2. And how I do that is to use this uh, law here, if I have root a, this is the same thing as a to the power of r. All right. And that means that if I have root a to the power of root m, this will simply mean a to the power of half multiplied by root m. a to the power of half multiplied by root m. And this will further give me a to the power of root m over 2. All right. So I'm going to apply this this law here to the question at hand. Alright, so that means this question becomes 2 to the power of half all to the power of root n minus 2 to the power of half all to the power of root n equal to 16,384 which further simplifies to 2 to the power of root n over 2 minus 2 to the power of root n over 2 equal to 16,384. Now, 16,384 is 2 to the power of 14. So, this now becomes 2 to the power of root n over 2 minus 2 to the power of root n over 2 equals to 2 to the power of 14. Next, I'm going to say let P equal to root n over 2, and then Q equals to root n over 2. So if that is the case, then this equation becomes 2 to the power of P minus 2 to the power of Q equals to 2 to the power of 14. Okay, so uh, the next thing is to say, suppose that to the power of Q is the HCF. If we assume or take 2 to the power of Q as the HCF, HCF on the left hand side. So this left becomes 2 to the power of Q times 2 to the power of P minus Q minus 1 equal to 2 to the power of 14. And I'm also going to modify this right hand side by multiplying it by 1 so that I can compare both sides. This is going to be even. This will be odd. This is even. And then, of course, this is odd. So, so comparing even with even, odd with odd, then we will get the solution to our problem, okay? And then we are on the way to getting the solution. So let me remove uh, erase this side so that. Uh, I can have, so comparing now, we can say that 2 to the power of Q equals to 2 to the power of 14, right? And so, by virtue of this law, that A to the power of Y, uh, X equal to A to the power of Y, if you have the same base, then we can assume that the powers are equal. Therefore, since we have the same base, therefore, Q will be equal to 14. That is that. Then, if we compare the odd will get that 2 to the power of p minus q minus 1 equal to 1. And we move this to this side, we have 2 to the power of p minus q equal to 1 plus 1. So that's 2 to the power of p minus q will be equal to 2. And I can write 2 as 2 to the power of 1. Right. And then applying this same law, we have it that p minus q will give us 1. 
So if P minus Q is 1, already we've got the value of Q. So it means that P is equal to 1 plus Q. That is 1 plus 14, which gives us 15, right? So it means that um, the value of P is uh, 15. So if P is 15, how do we go ahead to find the value of M and N? So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come back here. Already we have taken it that for P equal to 15, we know that P is equal to root M over 2. So that means that root M is the same thing as 2P. You get so root M will be equal to 2 times 15. So root M is 30. So if I square both sides, M will give me 30 squared. That's 900. So that is when P is uh, 15. For Q, equal to 14, it means that since we know that Q is root N over 2, so that means that root N equals to 2Q, right? So if root N equals to 2Q, it means that uh, root N equals to 2 times 14, that is 28. And so that will give us um, uh, that will give us n to be equal to that will give us n n to be equal to 28 squared and 28 squared is uh, 784 n equals to 784 so there you have it guys the value of m and n now let's see if our m and n is equal is actually correct so let's check it we have root 2 to the power of root n minus root 2 to the power of root n is equal to 16,384. So let's see how we get this. m is, what is m? What is root m? Root m is 30. So we have uh, root 2 to the power of 30 minus root 2 to the power of um, root n is 28 equal to 16,384 alright so this is still the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 over 2 times 30 minus 2 to the power of 1 over 2 times 28 equal to um, equal to 16,384. Right. So we have this will be 2 to the power of 15 minus 2 to the power of 14 equal to 16,384. So if we factorize out 2 to the power of 14, so I have 2 to the power of 14, so this will give me 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of uh, 0 equals to 16,000. Okay, let me handle that over here. So, uh, this will further give me, if I factorize out 2 to the power of 14, this will give me 2 to the power of 15 divided by 2 to the power of 14, that is uh, 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 0 equals to 16,384. So, 2 to the power of 14, this is 2 minus 1, 16,384. It is the same thing as 2 to the power of 14 equals to 16,384. So, 16,384 equals to 16,384. So, guys, the value of P and Q are actually very correct. So, guys, there you have it. I'll see you in my next video. Please watch, learn, subscribe, comment, share my video, and of course, so, uh, I'll see you 
in the next class. Bye-bye.